a really interesting story and uh, it's, uh, it's set, uh, set in Prague and uh, there is a, a lot of mysticism but uh, if you scrape out this mysticism uh, you'll find that it's a only detective story, it's a only simple detective story uh, with, some, uh, with some sort of uh, uh, cues like in the detective story and with some sort of uh, uh, murders and uh, so on. I see over there, Golem, Mechanical Man. Yeah. So in animation it's not a Mechanical Man, it's alive. Our last version of the script uh, he's using, uh, it is using the, the mechanical man, uh, like, yeah. uh, like a golem. Very, very simple. Um, I just use two muscles. I use, on this arm, I use the muscle here, and I use the muscle here. So if I contract this muscle by doing this movement, the hand will open. If I do this movement, the hand will close. And then if I do this movement, there is a small beep. And now, if I close, it will turn this way. And if I open, it turns this way. And if I want to show off, it goes all the way. It's very, very easy to use. But anyway, it's going on, and uh, at the end, this is, uh, uh, this is suddenly a big monster who is uh, bigger than, than houses and uh, it's like a big tower in Prague so, so this is our last version. Comedy, our Czech comedy about uh, Golem, uh, uh, Caesar's Baker and Baker's Caesar, two parts of it. Yeah. Uh, it's not interesting, it's just a comedy, you know. But there is a statue. Yeah. And I see over there that uh, that uh, you Hungarian artist yeah. makes something um, inspiration from that, you know, the same. From, from that film, <coughs> um, this is the, that design of yeah. Golem. Uh, it's, a, it's a sign of, uh, of Prague Golem every, every time because uh, um, people <laughs> know Golem through that shape of Golem. There are many different uh, designs, like uh, illustration in Gustav Meyring's book. Uh, there is another golem, it is smaller and he looks like Chinese a little bit. So, so there are many, many shapes. It's like God creates human with his hand, yeah. and human create golem with his hand. It's kind of um, it's interesting for me because there is a sculpting act in the midst, and I like that. <laughs> Look around, we are, we are in an exhibition with robots and if we create uh, human-like robots it's exactly the same, it's kind of golem too and we have to think 
about what I've been, what uh, I've been right to know what we have to do in the future. Karel Čapek uh, used in the first writing another word, not the word robot, but the word labors, labor, labore, from labore, from Latin based word, labor. <coughs> in plural labors for robots. And uh, he was not very satisfied with that and uh, goes to, to Joseph and uh, asks him that it is very, very artificial, it's looking like something robots, it is uh, how, to, how to call these uh, this creatures. And Joseph proposed the word robots. So it is a mystery behind the word robot. Bernie Stern. I am a uh, film producer in uh, Los Angeles. Um, James Kerwin from the Helicon, Helicon Arts Cooperative um, had a vision to recreate uh, RUR. of this play, uh, specifically the humor that was taken in the first act specifically, and um, the discussion of artificial humans and uh, the roles that they play, not only as workers, but um, specifically tailored to needs both uh, in war and um, pleasure. The time period that we sought to use um, seemed fitting to be 1969, um, specifically the Barbarella style, um, and uh, like Star Trek and Barbarella, this kind of vision of a, an alternate future from where it was written in 1920, um, taken 50 years into the future um, from where they were and then doing it um, our way. So, um, I'd like to show you what we came up with. In 
his 1984 novel Neuromancer, William Gibson coined the term matrix and cyberspace to designate a broad conception of a new data sphere emerging in tandem with ideas about virtual reality and global computer networks. I mean, but the, 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 there, there are ways, yeah, there are ways in which I would upgrade myself, there are ways, ways in which I wouldn't upgrade myself. Like, uh, like there are already, it's research and practice that you can kind of put a stick into your um, kind of part of the brain and it enhances, it enhances your ability to I mean, uh, reach memories that you are not able to do. So, if it will be uh, researched properly and I wouldn't have a risk that it damages my brain functions, I'll be certainly pro remembering everything that I was doing as a child when I was young or when I was one. You have to remember, a 10 year old will probably never build something like this. The engines in here are actually way too powerful for like, um, so you know, this is this is already pushing the limit of what you can do with the yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my brother make like little cars, but we can't make like, things like this. Something amazing does happen. Why are you stuck in here? Speak louder, please. Also, you know, this idea of death, so the spaceman becomes death, wow. but also God, so it's um, between the two genders, uh, yeah, they say that there's more than one, two genders, but in this case, it's just two genders. Several months ago, on the 1st May of 2014, Judith Butler said in an interview that she can see no problem with women having a penis and men having a vagina. People can have whatever primary characteristics they have, whether given or acquired, and that does not necessarily imply what gender they will be or want to be. For others, primary sexual characteristics signify gender more directly. Yeah. Who are you? Pardon? So please, shortly introduce yourself. Okay. Who are you? I'm Trax from Vienna. What are you doing right now? Right now I'm making pancakes. One that can make uh, pancakes. We can also help the elderly. We can uh, have industrial robots. So there's all places in in life there will be room for robots in the future. So by be, being creative, uh, I think that is the most important thing. All the technical things is uh, that, that can be done. It's the creativity that is the the main thing for making robots. And uh, with Lego, I think that is the tool, one of the tools that can make uh, youngsters creative. The advantage, the advantage of the knob gear is the following. When you got a lot of strain on the gears, it might happen that it, they get a little out uh, and then you have this 
click, 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 and it does not turn. Mm -hmm. This will never happen with them. They will always turn, they will always stay together. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the advantage of this. But, you see, they are not as precise as this one, because they have all these small gears, so you can eat very precisely control them. I'm Honza Sraha and uh, I, I'm a student from uh, ICT and uh, I make robotics from my probably 16 so uh, I like to play with all things which can move and things like that. <laughs> And uh, my robot, as you can see, is a six-wheeled. Uh, this morning I made uh, another uh, belt to his front, so he could climb the stairs more precisely. And uh, maybe uh, you saw it uh, climbing those circle stairs almost on the top. Future actually, uh, actually, when I was invited for this e event, so I was thinking about it what I should sell, say about the robotics. And the first thing which I got on my mind, I should study hard to look wiser. But then, then I found out that it's really hard to say indeed something about robotics. So, the thing what I did actually is I saw recently one science fiction movie, maybe you could see it, it's a recent release of the Spanish director uh, Gabe Ibanez, I think, it's called Automata, and when I saw that, uh, actually it's a very basic story, when one robot will become alive, actually, so it's very common, and when I saw that, I realized that maybe, maybe one day in the future, uh, the technology will be like this, and this, this fiction will become the reality, maybe this is a very, very remote, very far, but I think one day we can reach, reach, reach this goal, even by supporting events like this, because this way we are just supporting the creativity, which can, which can bring us the innovation and new inventions.